welcome back to my youtube channel this is your girl tambi and welcome to the sit down with tambi so today's topic i'm sure you guys are wondering what it is because i didn't say anything about it but if you didn't subscribe please do subscribe like comment and share about this video once i tell you what the topic is so with my videos we are doing a lot of youth empowerment we share a lot um to help the youth grow basically so today's topic will be based on the course that i am doing so i will be sharing with you guys on how i got into the course and i hope it does help those who want to do the course and yeah if you want to do a different course and you need some information please do ask we are here to help you guys we are here to help you search for the information and yeah you're not alone so yeah stay with me and let's discuss how i got into radiography okay so let us start by what happened to me after i got out of matric so when i got out of matric i i did apply for radiography but i didn't get accepted guys can i tell you i was so down i i just didn't do anything about it i didn't try and apply again so what happened is the guy that was helping me with mathematics he brought these forms for me to look at me hi okay. i did I searched about the two uh, programs that he showed me. It was phlebotomy and a medical lab technician. I obviously fell in love with the medical lab technician one. And then I applied. And then I got the interview. Um, it was a learnership in Cape Town. I got the interview. I got accepted. Guys, I went to Cape Town. I studied, I wrote the board exam, I passed, I am a qualified medical lab technician, right? Fine. After a year of working, I then applied again for radiography. Hey, guys, I was nervous. I didn't know what's, what's going to happen, who's going to pay, are they, are they going to accept me this time, you know, things like that but they did so now let me take you through how i applied how i got into this program uh radiography program at tut okay yes guys it's so exciting but yeah i can't wait to share with you so please do not go away okay so tut has now moved to a degree it's no longer a diploma, so it's now a four-year course. Okay? So for you as a matric student or whoever wants to move to radiography, you need to go through at least seven steps for you to be in the program, right? So we start all the way back when you have to register and all and all and all that. I will take you through it. So point number one, you have to register on the TUT app, not an app, website. Um, you register your credentials or everything, ID, you know, you upload your documents, you upload your metric certificate, you upload your ID, and yeah, I think that's about it. And then you then go to the website, um, on the ITS website, you um create a password i think the password will be given to you once you register and then you go through that you apply for radiography so you go and search for radiography that's point number two you apply and then you search for radiography and then you apply so you click and you apply fine point number three you pay for the tuition fee i don't know how much it is now but you pay right for you to get um to be able to to be eligible actually to to apply you pay the tuition fee cool then you wait okay fine my waiting uh with radiography 
when I was waiting. When you wait, I, I think at any institution, guys, you wait for the applications to close so that they can start now processing everything. They cannot process well, whilst the applications are still going on. So do not be anxious or be scared that they're not replying you or whatsoever. Please wait. So you have to wait for the applications to close and then they will process it. Fine. That's point number five. Fine. And then after you wait with radiography, you get a letter. Me, I got the letter that I have to come and write a test. Sorry for the noise. You have to come and write a test. I cannot reveal more about the test because I will be jeopardizing the integrity of the test. Basically, we all have to go through it. And then when you are done writing the test, you will get a date to come and do an interview. Right. So that's point number six. You come and do the interview and then you wait. <laughs> you wait again. For us, we didn't have to wait long because we were the first uh, group to get into the degree program. So things were a bit fast because we needed to start because they made the degree available late. You understand? So I got a response. After the interview, I got a response. Um, I think after three days or four, uh, that I am accepted for the program and you guys I was still working at that time I was so excited I didn't know I didn't even care okay fine and then I yeah you you get accepted you will then start when the classes are starting they will provide you with a timetable you will get provided with a lot of information and you can ask if you need to ask. You can ask um, the lecturers. The lecturers are also there on Facebook on the radiography page. You can just post your question. They are there to answer. Cool. Yeah. Then I got in, guys. I got in. <laughs> so let us start by defining what radiography is. Radiography is the science that uses radiation sorry it uses radiation to provide images images of bones images of tissues images of uh, vessels or organs that compose a human body right so so that's it guys i hope this helps and if you need help with applications or for us to help you with anything guys please do speak out shout out to me um i also have people that can help you know it's not a complicated process it's not if you get confused whilst you are still in matric go watch my video on what happens after matric and then prepare yourself guys mentally and you know emotionally for for anything that you want to step on right so it's not a complicated thing to do guys all the best and good luck with your applications work hard in matrix so that your results can help you to get into the program because um yeah you need mathematics must be four physics for licenses for english i think Ugh. i don't know just please download also the prospectus yeah radiography that will help you a lot <laughs> it will it will take you through everything what marks are needed um but bachelor's degree definitely not a diploma not high certificate or a total fail that is why i'm saying work hard if you need to get into this program work 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 push yourself so that your results can help you get to the program it's not a difficult thing to do it's just dependent on you to work hard that's it <laughs> all the best and i wish you guys i don't know a, a successful journey with whatever you are doing even if it's just another course you know ask guys we will ask the relevant people who can help you you know 
there's also a tut i think page on facebook where you can ask people are there to help guys people are there to help if you need information so yeah i hope you guys will be well and thank you so much for tuning in please do like comment i guys i would love for you to comment i would love to hear your stories on how you got um accepted for if if you feel like it's just a long story cut it short be brief um tell us how you got accepted was it hard was it really immediately after matric or it took you forever you know things like that just for the matriculants to see that it's sometimes not an easy journey sometimes you get lucky sometimes you know also your marks they they just take you to it but matrix please do watch the video of life after matric it really helps and it just provides uh enough information on what to expect and what not to expect okay so yeah guys thank you so much for watching and i love you so much mm -hmm.